Well, this is our multi-purpose room, and this is where we store every single student's life map. And basically, the life map is just a visual representation of what they've done in their life up to the time they decide to get involved with Youth Build. They're heartbreaking because you don't expect to see it from students of this age when they were supposed to be so innocent. They have come in from drugs, they've come in from prison, they've come in from uh, pretty horrific situations. And to get them to open up is not an easy thing. So the staff life maps are how we introduce ourselves to the students. We become the first thing that breaks down that barrier. We're opening ourselves up to the students so they can open themselves up back to us. This is Johnny Herbers. Well, in middle school, I actually started ditching school, walk off the campus, and go drink at the park. And I'm sure that a lot of people remember that me, that person. I think that being Native American and knowing what people expect of a Native American is that most people look at Native Americans as being severe alcoholics. It felt like, if I'm being looked at that way, why don't I just be that way? Drinking alcohol took me to the point where I lost respect for anything in general. I lost respect for teachers. I lost respect for being in a classroom. I did lose respect for myself, and ultimately. It's kind of hard to say that. It, it really strikes me saying that. I'm sure that that's something I never really talk about. <laughs> I knew that when you joined the program, you had to be drug free. And I wasn't even 21 when I joined, but I was still drinking and stuff and nobody knew about that. 